Video may contain subliminal messaging. Oh, dang it, I didn't record any of that. Huh? You did it? Okay, let me do it again. Okay. To make Tedic, you're gonna have to be very prepared. The fir first and foremost, the most important ingredient would be the rice. Um, the rice, well, you can't really make Tedic if you don't have rice. This is best Matty rice. I would say this is probably the best kind. And then at the bottom, you're going to be putting your bread. We're going to use tortilla bread just because we. Uh, uh, I think that's the only bread we have right now. But it would have to be a flat bread. It has to be flat bread. You can't use like like to the bread you make toast with or a baguette because that would be kind of hard. And then you're going to need some utensils to make your, make your tedic with. So we're going to use this bowl. Big, a measuring cup, this is exactly one cup, a spatula, Crisco oil, pure canola oil, you use this when you're making it, and then my favorite, Morton salt, it's iodized, I don't know what that means, so, it has what? It has iodine in it. And that's what you're going to need to make tadik. Okay. And then we're going to need two cups of basmati rice. So that's one. Dig in there. You got to dig in there. That's two. That might not look like a lot, but it's going to fill up this whole pot when after you add the water so we have to add the water to the rice first you have to wa you have to wash the the rice otherwise it's dirty and nobody likes dirty rice you can see it just cleaning and then after this you let it soak for a half hour yes Okay, it's been an it's been a half an hour, and we are now ready to prepare, get ready for making our teddy. So first, you fill up your pot. Okay. No, not full, but you fill it up to around around half full with water. And I'll go ahead and turn on the. I'll turn on this thing. It's a stove. You wait until, okay, and then it it's on, you put it on high, wait not it. low, but high. You gotta have it nice and warm, just how I like it. Wait for it to boil. And you gotta wait for the water to boil. You see the little bubbles? Uh, this takes about ten maybe minutes. ten minutes. Dang, making teddy is tiring. I want a popsicle. Okay, I'll be selecting my popsicle to a nice tune. There is blueberry pomegranate, mixed berry pomegranate, and mango pomegranate. Um, pomegranate is also a fruit that is very commonly devoured in Iran, so this popsicle just fits the bill. I think I'm going to go with randomly deciding here. Oh, I got it. I picked mango! I dropped Aww. my pick.
Okay, so I think our rice is boiling. Our water. We're gonna do it to the tune of Arash. Hit Persian pop star. So we're gonna drain our rice. We're gonna add this to the boiling water. So that's being out of there. Add the rest of the rice. If you're wondering why I'm not doing anything with the stove, it's because my mom doesn't let me touch the stove. Anyways. Okay, so it's been a little bit. When, when rice, when you're cooking it, it slowly expands. As you saw, the little grains of rice were quite small at the beginning, but let's see if it's... It looks like it's still, still at its very tiny form. So we're just gonna watch it. So it you, got, you gotta watch it so it doesn't overflow. See, it's getting pretty close. So we're just gonna wait a little bit longer. I don't know the lyrics in this song. Still cooking. But it's growing, you can see it's... Forgot one thing, we're gonna need our strainer, or a drainer. See, we put this in the sink, and when the rice is prepared, you just, you just pour it in here, and all the water will drain out and it will be nice and ricey. Okay, I think it might be ready. Oh, look how, how large the little grains of rice are getting. Is it ready? Okay. Yeah, as long as the middle part is not hard. So the middle part's not hard, meaning that okay. your rice is, 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 is ready. That looks hot. Dude, make sure if you're unskilled at rice cooking, you should probably be wearing some protection on your hands. But, try this at home. but my but my mother is a pro at rice cooking because you know she's Persian and yeah. See, it's nice and strained. All the water is straining out the bottom, and for the most part, it is. Water free. Okay, so while the rice is straining, we are going. This is the most important part. Otherwise, your tadik will be like soft, and that kind of defeats the point of tadik. So we're gonna take our canola oil right there, our Crisco. Take a spoon. Put one spoon, two spoon, three spoon, and four spoons of canola oil. And I'll make it go around. Cover up the whole bottom. And then we're gonna take one of these. This bread is perfect for this because see it's a nice round shape that just seems like it fits the mold of our it might be a little large, but it still works. See a lot of so that's nice and molded to the bottom of our pot. It is the same pot that we used, by the way. So now there's our strained rice. We're gonna pour it. It's our cover. We gotta cover it. And then we're gonna put it back on the stove. Medium. So we're gonna put it on medium, not high. It was on high before, but now it's on medium. And we're gonna let this sit for how long? 45 minutes. Okay, I only have about like five and a half seconds left, so uh, that's how you flip the tadic, and that's what it looks like. Okay, bye!